this was uh, this was over in Cornwall and we was uh, told about a, a Pacific place, Pacific place rather, um, that was to do with a pilgrim's graveyard or resting place called Society of Friends. You know, like, yeah, you hear loads of stories, all these bad little things that have gone off and but it's like built all pitch, you say, before you got there, it was a bit like, yeah, all right then, a bit on edge now. But then, uh, nevertheless, then we went down this little lane, which, uh, if you look behind me, uh, the road was narrower than this. And then, uh, if you imagine, sort of like, each each side of the, the road was big, proper hedges, like you're probably finding in Cornwall and Wales and all the countryside. So it was proper narrow. Short cut in the daytime for normal commuting, stuff like that. But night time would not be touched. Um, let's just say, you know, there've been suicides reported at this place. Uh, sort of like the sensation of feeling depressed and stuff like that. So it was like, yeah, well, let's check it out anyway. So off we went, me and a couple of people, and uh, we went down and we was looking. Uh, we went into this middle of the night, it was a breezy night. We've got this little area, probably uh, probably about 20 meters square, maybe at the most, probably less than that actually. Uh, and my word, it was weird. Trees everywhere. A little, you had to duck down to get another hedge. Uh, yeah, you had to duck down to get underneath the hedge and that. And we've got like a low beam, so a proper cornish sort of like, you know duck down I'm five foot ten but I had to duck my head right down to get in and I was the shortest out of three of us. Went into this area, we're looking you couldn't see anything, it was just like brambles and trees in the middle of nowhere in a little square. And then the uh, next thing you know it was uh alright. I suddenly turned right yeah we just sort of felt a little bit depressed and everything and we decided that uh, we'd try it one at a time just to turn around and uh, and get get the, uh, the sense of feeling depressed now my mate was just turned around and goes, you feel a bit depressed and obviously it's like well now you've said that it was like well I do now so let's try and see if we can sort it out so anyway yeah uh, that's what we did one at a time went in we all came out same sort of thing yeah I feel a little bit but can't help but think it's psychologically imposed on us really and we all went back in and uh, when we're still blowing a bit and all of a sudden I said to him, you know what, I won't mine out of interest. See if we can find and uncover one of the tombstones. Uh, little did I know the sort of effect that it had after. Uh, so as soon as I'd the uh, top light said that that was it. Like, oh my god, my mate tapped me on my shoulder. He was like pointing at the trees and I'm like yeah and he's been like yeah it's blowing a gale out there but the wind the trees aren't moving and so we had a look and it was like yeah you're right it's sort of scenario and uh, the next thing you know I looked behind and uh, being the designated driver I was the only one left in that little area anyway uh, to say the least so the two were already in the car waiting shouting oh, get okay the car let's go come on but uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, we got outside, and it, it was still windy, um, and the trees weren't moving, and they should have been moving in the middle of nowhere, absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Um, hopefully, some point in the future, when we can get over to Cornwall, we might do some investigations down that way, and uh, we'll, we'll show you the place. But yeah, um, so, yeah it's well well known in the area, being in dodgy place anyway. Um, uh, we didn't know, well, I went back in the daytime and it was alright, just have a walk around in the day, you know, no good, I went on my own, no issues at all. Um, looked at a plaque on the side of the wall and that, yeah, no issues at all. If I remember when I'm next time there, I'll try and take a picture so you can guys can actually see what I'm on about and relate to it as well. Um, but, yeah, I later found out from a friend that uh, they, they were confirmed suicide, the people left overnight found all feeling the same way and that uh, apparently one person did try and do it hang themselves and uh, they survived hence the reason that we know about the stories and that there's loads of stories to it uh, I'm not going to go into 
into loads of it. But let's just turn around and say, whenever it was spoken about and someone went past it, it, it never failed, never failed to uh, scare people. And we're not talking your average person, we're talking people that would, uh, got the mentality to take on an army, let's say. But, uh, someone once said to me though, I can't see to hit it, I can't fight it, you know, so here we go. Anyway guys, uh, I think in all fairness to uh, to the lockdown, um, I've overdone my time away and out of here, even though I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'm very conscious that I've been out here longer than I really should have done by giving these stories and that, so I want to get my arse back inside and uh, probably yeah, give you some more stories when we get, get indoors at some point. Um, so until then everyone, look, be safe, be sensible, let's help the NHS and everything and uh, just do the absolute essentials um, and along the way just be respectful, it's frustrating, isn't it? be respectful to uh, everyone and everything around you.